there are these 35 princess na princess 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 hey it's marty welcome back to another video if you're new here please consider subscribing for more bookish content book talk and book reviews with me today's video we will be doing a book tag Pat of her bookish side has tagged all the filipino booktuber to do this stay at home book tag so here we are doing this fun tag let's start <music> First prompt is Laying in Bed, a book that you could or have read in one day. I have chosen graphic novels because who would not? These are the sorts of books that I could read in one day. I could spend all the day reading one without stopping until the end. Since I'm a sucker for comics and graphic novels, I remember in high school that I have a lot of manga. These are Japanese comics that can be accessed online. And I even had my own collection of the witch comics that you wait for a new release every month, but then babasahin mo lang siya in one day. When adulting happened, however, I lost all of those comics. I even lost the time to access online mangas. Luckily though, my boyfriend has a collection of graphic novels. I have borrowed and read some of his collections. For this tag, let me talk about this. Trece. Pinili ko to as gift for him, but since I'm also intrigued myself and also excited for the release of this issue, I read it right after I bought it, finished it before even giving it to him. <laughs> This is actually the seventh book in the series. It even has a collection of short stories. Stories from the Diabolical. I already have a video talking about Trese, and I will be linking it above in a card. But for those who do not know, Trese is a paranormal mystery thriller written by Budgetan, and the art was done by Kajo Baldissimo. In the story, we follow Alexandra Trese. She is a paranormal detective that the police would ask for help whenever the case would go and turn to the paranormal district. And what's amazing about this graphic novel is not just about the art, which is totally awesome. And one more thing that is really amazing about this graphic novel is its rich representation of the Philippine mythological creatures. If you're a fan of thriller, horror, mythology, Folklores, then Trese is one of the award winning book that you could try. For the next prompt, we have the book that is your guilty pleasure. For this one, I have only one series in mind, and that is the Selection series. The Selection series has received mixed reviews many people would not like it and say it's so petty and many booktubers would even say that they are, this is also their guilty pleasure and I'm one of those. The Selection series by Kira Kaz, it's like a literary version of The Bachelor. If you're familiar with that TV series, well, there is this man and then there are several girls who would compete for the affection of that man. And whoever that man chooses to marry will become his queen. When the selection was introduced to the market, I immediately thought that it's like a glamorous version of The Hunger Games. Full of gowns and petticoats. Where there are these 35 ladies in glamorous gowns who compete for the affection of Prince Max. Prince Maxton. I forget the name. Maxim. Maxon. In the first three books, we followed America Singer. She is an ordinary girl with stubborn heart and red hair. And we followed her character development, uh, her struggles with herself and in her insecurities. I really like the selection series 
because I was interested with fashion when I was in college. But it's a guilty pleasure. And the characters, they lack depth. But it's okay. Next prompt is Netflix or a series that you would like to start. And for this, I am really intrigued to read about the Psych Trilogy. I heard a lot of really good reviews about this dystopian or utopian novel where Earth is already healing. Wala na siyang paradise. Wala na sakit. Wala nang problema. In order to control the growth of population, merong tinatawag na site yung government uh, where sila yung nagko-control ng population and nagde-decide if this person deserves to die na or time na nung tao yun kasi para ma-regulate yung growth of the population so I'm really intrigued with this site trilogy Also, The Darker Shades of Magic by V. Ishwag. I'm really intrigued with this novel. I'm avoiding all the spoilery reviews about this. Puro mga non-spoiler reviews. Yung mga pinapanood ko about this book. And I'm really intrigued and swayed dun sa mga great reviews na naririnig ko and nababasa ko about this series. And V. Ishwag even has a reputation for being queen of YA. So I would really want to try her books. Next prop is Deep Clean, book or a series that has been in your TBR for ages. Actually, maraming books in my TBR for ages, but I think it's timely to talk about Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Because not only it will be adapted and be rebooted in a TV series in Disney Plus, but because I also joined a PJ Obradaton or the Percy Daton hosted by Kat and Evan and all the rest of the other co-hosts, I will just have another video for my PJ Obradaton. But for now, Percy Jackson and the Olympians has been in my TBR for ages. I have started reading Percy Jackson when I was in fourth year high school. And since then, hindi ko na siya tinaloy kasi I had this friend. Meron kaming tampuhan back then. And you know, the classic na di kita bate. So, di ko din bate lahat ng mga bate mo. So, ayoko sa'yo. Ayoko din lahat ng gusto mo. So, one of the things na gusto niya ay yung Percy Jackson. So, since then, I have vowed na hindi ko na babasayan yung Percy Jackson series dahil sa kanya. Percy Jackson issue was so childish and I would like to prove that I already grew up. Kaya babasayan ko na yun. So, now, I have decided to join the Readathon para ma-force na rin ako na basahin ko yun and grow up. I, for one, is a huge fan of mythologies. I really like Greek mythology, Roman mythology, Egyptian, Norse, Philippine, all the other mythologies. Percy Jackson is a huge uh, fandom that features these kinds of stuff that I like. So. I think it's such a waste kung hindi ko siya matatapos. So good luck to those who will join the Persidathon. For this prom, we will feature a book that I recently bought because of its hype. Na uh -uh. I don't buy books because of the hype. Bukod sa nasasayangan ako dun sa pambili ng book na yun dahil ang sabi ng iba ay maganda yun. So bibilin ko na. Uh, I seldom do that. Instead, I ask somebody to buy that book for me. Para hindi masyado masakit. So, I'll just mention one of those books na you're looking for a book for me, di ba? Why don't you buy insert overhyped books? So, one of those books is The Air or yung fourth book in the selection series that actually I don't have the physical copy right now kasi dinonate ko na sa school library namin. The Air features the daughter of America singer, 
uh, siya na yung bida dun sa kwento. I just forgot her name. Basta sa kanya na umikot. And then, it's like the bachelorette all over. Like, there are these 35 princes na nagko-compete for her affection to become the king consort. Productivity Prompt is a book that you learned or has a huge impact on you. Way back in college, even when I was a voracious, voracious reader, hindi ako nagbabasa ng mga self-help books. Uh, so yung mga binabasa ko are fantasy books because I want to learn how to do yung book na malaki yung impact in my writing style and in my world building style and that is of course Harry Potter. I really like Harry Potter because of its world building and character development. So yun, ganun yung mga self-help books ko. <laughs> yung mga makakapagturo sa akin kung paano gumawa ng isang fantasy world. Also, one of the mangas that I really liked and really sparked my interest in writing in Wattpad back then was this manga called The Doll. When I was in high school, I wrote a fantasy novel that features a doll that came back to life. But I, don't, I didn't have the courage to publish it because I think it's not yet good enough. Pero nung nabasa ko yung manga na to, I thought that that novel was actually creative in its own way. So I started to write it in what part. But then adulting happened and I stopped doing that. So I hope I could return to that and defeat my writing slump. We're going there. Next prompt is a book that you were gifted. Siguro you only person that give me books as gift is my beloved. Ayan, shout out ko daw siya. <laughs> One of the books that he has gifted me that I really, really, really like is The School for Good and Evil. Ayan, sinimulan yan. First year na nagkakilala kami. Every year, binibigyan niya ako ng isang book from that series. And up to now, meron na kami five books of The School for Good and Evil. As of now, The School for Good and Evil has five books. And in the story, we follow Agatha, Sophie, and Tedros, and all the gang of SGE. It was written by Soman Chainani. Ayan, merong school daw na nagre-recruit ng two children every year. Tapos, yung isa mapupunta sa school and good if that person is a good person. And the other one will go to the school for evil if that child or that kid is uh, suited, more suited for that school to become a villain in a certain fairy tale. What is one thing that you have done recently to look after yourself? In these quarantine times, I think the last thing that I did for myself is doing the structure for my free time. I'm not really used to having a lot of free time, so I have resolved to go back to bullet journaling, go back to making timetable. And I will just link a video of that timetable here above where I have listed all of the things that I could spend my free time with. I have joined online classes. I joined Readathon to organize my reading, to organize my TBR, and became active in booktube. I think anything that you do for yourself is also being productive. So do not tell yourself na hindi ka productive just because hindi ka kasing dami ng output tulad ng iba. Improving yourself is already a task. Developing your self-confidence and your self-esteem and organizing your thoughts, taking care of yourself and your mental health, that's already being productive. And you're doing a good job so far for being sane in these very insane times. the 
bonus from name a book that is upcoming. I'm really more excited for the sixth book of the School for Good and Evil, The One True King. This will be released in June 2, and Soman Chainani has a lot of giveaways in his Instagram channel. And I'm not really that lucky person in terms of ruffles, so I'm not hoping anymore. But yeah, I, this is the new release that I'm really much interested in. And here we will know who is really the one true king of Camelot. Shout out time! Shout out Kai, Mommy Floor and her cutie patuli, Baby Noah. Good luck with your business venture. Guys, if you're very interested with online shopping, bags, beauty, products, for yourself ladies and for your kids, Please check deluxeph.com. The bags have high quality in affordable price. That's all for our video. If you enjoyed this tag, don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading! See you in the next video!